Welcome to today's EM in 5. We're going to talk about infectious flexor tenosynovitis. And the reason this is so important is that it's a surgical emergency. If you miss it in the ER, if it goes undetected, if you send these patients home with a diagnosis of cellulitis, they could end up having loss of function of the digit, maybe even eventually the entire hand. And sometimes the infection can actually spread um, and can cause deep space infections, adhesions, or even tendon necrosis. So some pretty bad stuff. So this is an infection of the digital flexor tendon sheath. Of note, the first digit, that flexor tendon sheath actually communicates with the radial bursa. And on the, the fifth digit, communicates with the ulnar bursa. And one of the other complications is that these two can actually connect in about 50 to 80 percent of people. So you get what's called a horseshoe abscess. It's usually caused from penetrating trauma, and many times the patient isn't even aware because it happened a day or two ago, maybe even weeks ago, so you do have to ask them if they had any punctures to the fingers, and specifically, usually ask them about the flexor surface, especially in the crease of the finger. That's where the tendon sheath is most superficial. As far as the bacteria that are involved, it's usually staph or strep, but it can be polymicrobial and also anaerobes. For people that have had recent STDs or high risk or are immunocompromised, think about Neisseria gonorrhea as well. Now the key to catching these infections and recognizing them is to try to identify these four characteristics that was described by Knievel in the early 1900s. So these are the four signs, Knievel signs. So first you have sausage digit or a fusiform uniform swelling along the entire finger. Next you have pain to percussion or palpation along the flexor tendon sheet, so along that flexor surface. Next, when you look at the finger, when it's just held uh, passively, you'll notice that the finger is held in this passive flexion. That's kind of the comfortable air way to hold the hand. And lastly, if you try to extend that finger, so passive extension, they'll have a lot of pain along that flexor surface. So those are the four signs to look out for. If you see these things, think flexor tenosynovitis. So here's a couple pictures. Here's a great example of that kind of sausage digit, the uniform swelling along the entire finger. And you can also see it's held in um, inflection there. Here's another great example of that swelling held in flexion. This is a good picture that shows how far down it goes. So it starts off here in the finger. And you can see it, um, it extends through the flexor tendon sheath all the way down into the palmar crease here. And there's the last one again, held in flexion, diffuse swelling. So this is kind of what you're looking for. And then on exam, palpate along the flexor surface and try to extend it and see if they have that pain. And there you go, there's the four signs. Now to treat these infections, first you're gonna start them on antibiotics. They should be IV. So you could start with uh, vancomycin, maybe ceftriaxone would be a good combination to cover gram negatives and gonorrhea as well. Or you could consider unison. If it was a water injury, consider pseudomodal coverage. And also you want to immobilize it and have them start elevating it. Now if it's a very early infection, you might be able to get away with antibiotics and a watch and wait approach for the first day or so. But this should be done in consult with hand surgery. They are the ones who should decide if you're going to watch and wait with antibiotics or if they need to go to the OR emergently. Once they go to the OR, usually they open it up, maybe debride it. Another option is that they put in catheters and actually flush the wound out, like in this picture. So the big thing to remember here is call hand surgery. Have them help you evaluate this and decide what the management should be. So three to remember for flexor tenosynovitis, it's an infection of the flexor tendon sheath, usually by a puncture injury. It is a surgical emergency, so you need to start early antibiotics and call hand surgery. And then you have the four Knievel signs, which is the swelling of the entire digit, that sausage digit, pain to percussion along the flexor tendon sheath. It's gonna be held in passive flexion and pain with passive extension. Here are the references, and thanks for joining us on EMN5.